How can you start cleansing just by taking out certain things and adding in a lot more? Detoxification is what happens in your body. Cleansing is something you're doing. It's kind of like the lifestyle choice. And the many factors such as processed packaged foods, environment pollution, chemicals in your home, shampoo, makeup, kitchen, bathroom solvents, all that stuff we're exposed to daily. If you're going to take this on, you want to take out anything processed, refined, any bleached flours. Uh, refined sugars, table salt is another really, really big one. The mentality in North America is, yes, drink more milk, get stronger bones, stronger bodies. The proof is there to show the opposite. So a couple essential steps to start cleansing your life. Um, you know, these are just some tips. I can read through some of them, but otherwise there's some basic stuff that you guys can start doing. We're going to be exposed to a few of them this weekend. Sauna, steam room, all that stuff is really good. Just getting your body to sweat. Ex sweating is toxin release. David Wolf talked about this last night in the movie, is getting a colonic. So if that's something that you're interested in or have thought about, again, two times a year, springtime, fall town are really good times to get a colonic. Sleep, the next thing. So we can all definitely probably, not necessarily use more hours of it, but more restful hours of it. Having a blender, having a juicer if you want to, depending on what you want to get, a dehydrator, Sushi rolling mats, great to make raw nori rolls. Coffee grinder to grind down flax seeds or any kind of nuts and seeds. Glass storage containers. Good quality cookware is essential. Raw fruits and vegetables, sea vegetables, nuts, seeds, sprouted grains. You guys are already experiencing so much of this stuff. Um, and because these are all the foods really that have all the nutrients, the vitality, the enzymes, everything. Eat as much organic as much of the time as possible, the better because you're just reducing the toxic load in your body and the food tastes better, it digests better, it feels better and you notice a difference once you start making the switch. Vegetable based proteins are easier to break down. Hands down, your body is just going to break down quinoa a lot easier than it is a steak. It's going to break down a bean a lot easier than it is a piece of chicken. It's just the nature of the game. It's just easier and you're going to, your body's going to utilize that protein a lot better. Whether you're vegetarian, vegan or not, or you eat meat, doesn't matter. Getting good quality protein in every single day is essential. And you know, this is probably the only supplement that I like as far as like a food grade powder form that I incorporate into my diet daily and I've noticed such a difference in terms of my energy, um, with my skin, how I feel, how I work out, how I feel after recovery because um, it's, it's so easy to digest and break down. So it's brown rice, it's, it's fermented, it's sprouted, fermented and then just the extract of brown rice is made into a powder and it's just a protein component. So every single grain is combined of three different components. It's got a fat, it's got the fiber, the carbohydrate and protein. When you take off everything away and you just have the protein, then you're left with something that's so easy to digest. This is something I also recommend. It's, it's so clean. There's very few ingredients in it. And the reason why it's called Ormus is because it's, it's actually charged, meaning it's, if they've done tests on it, it will actually stand on edge, like on a spoon. If there's a charge on the spoon, it will stand up because it's alive. There's all kinds of different types of enzymes, and a lot of people hear the word enzymes and just, you know, equate it to food and the food that we're eating. But 
there's enzymes all the time and our body even produces enzymes and our body works with enzymes on all different levels of, of eating. So what is raw food? I've got a little, on page 10 here, there's just a little blurb here of what raw foods actually are and you know there is a little bit of a theoretical meaning of it in terms of where food is cooked and it's ranged anywhere between 105 to 120 degrees different raw foodists will claim different things. Um, but that being said, don't be stuck on you know, the exact dehydration number. Um, it's just about incorporating more of it, but 105 to 118 is really the ideal temperature. Once you go above that, it's classified that you're actually starting to affect enzymes and nutrients in food. Living foods is like a sprout, something that's alive. Sprouted bread, a, a fresh mung bean sprout, or a sunflower sprout. The category of superfoods can mean anything from the cacao, the goji berries, the chia seeds, honey. Superfoods are also kale, blueberries, um, tempeh, almonds. Superfoods being most powerful, nutrient-dense foods on the planet. They have virtually no calories, no bad fats, and harmful subs or harmful substances. They're powerhouses. Sea vegetables are an incredible superfood. Kelp, nori, um, arame, um, what am I missing? Dulse, goji berries. They're so healing and they're so beneficial. They're extremely high in antioxidants. They've got protein in them and the chia seed. So I've been talking about them a couple times and I like chia seed better than flax seeds these days. It's just, it's got the omega-3s, it's got the omega-6, higher omega-3 and you can use them anywhere and everywhere. You don't need to grind them up to get the benefit like you do flax seed. You can use them whole. It's really good for digestion or to move things along because it's a soluble fiber. Gives you energy calcium, magnesium, iron. Um, speaking of magnesium, cacao. This is the king of magnesium. Um, so it's, and even calcium. You're getting calcium on all the good stuff from pure raw cacao. This is chocolate in its most pure wholesome form.